What you see here on cruiser cam video from May 22nd offers a different look at what took place that night. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! A large police response to a melee involving teenagers at the Coney Mall area of Kings Island. It illustrates why there's ongoing concern about teen behavior, fights, and safety at the park, which has so far responded with written statements. Kings Island mentions zero tolerance for unruliness, saying they've increased safety measures as a result, something patrons always seem to point to. I think their security should probably be bumped up a little bit more, um, especially just having people in the area walking around being just visible at least. Tourism is Warren County's number one industry, and the summer ahead is looked at as an opportunity to recapture the fun and recoup the losses from the pandemic summer of 2020. The comfortability of the park's family environment has existed for a half century. Cell phone and surveillance videos of what happened three weekends ago rattles that normally safe atmosphere. There was nobody in law enforcement that, that was happy seeing those images, and it's not something that, that we're going to tolerate going forward. Then this past Saturday after the park had closed, the park confirmed some juveniles were verbally harassing a boy and his father in the public drop-off area, four minors arrested. It wasn't anywhere near the fist-flying incident from last month. Police, the situation's under control down here. But it further underscores the need to get the park's teen trouble tamped down. And we're told all of this is being taken very seriously by everyone involved in authority here in Warren County. Mason police continue to investigate the possibility of additional charges, we're told, remains. Live at Kings Island, John London, WLWT News 5. John, thank you.